I've spent the last several years learning the ins and outs of what it takes to be a wildlife photographer. And over those years, I've made a lot of mistakes, and I'm still making mistakes and still learning from those mistakes. But I want to share with you some of the things that I've learned. Being a good wildlife photographer takes patience, persistence, and a little bit of luck. It's not all about the equipment. It takes patience because you may find yourself sitting out in a field for hours on end waiting for a shot and nothing happens. You may have to sit there and keep telling yourself, I got to keep coming back to get this shot because I know something's going to happen. And that patience works because inevitably you may get the shot. I remember... This past year, I was out photographing bald eagles, and after about an hour of not seeing anything, I thought, I'm just going to pack it in and go. But I didn't. I knew the bald eagles were there. I was camped out under their nest. I spent 12 hours out that day and ended up getting several shots of the eagles. It was all about patience. It also takes persistence. Sometimes you think that, oh, I can go out one time and I'll get the shot. But often that's not the case. I spend a lot of my time traveling to the different national parks, and I may only have a day or two in those parks, so I have to take make the most of my time. I may drive around the park four and five times until I finally find a spot that I want to set up to get my perfect landscape shot or to get my perfect sunset or sunrise shot. It's all about going back and trying over and over again. When I was at the Grand Canyon, I showed up the night before, my first night there, and it was all about walking around, taking shots. Maybe I would get lucky, but it was all about finding that shot to go back the next day and set up and get the sunrise. It also is about taking that patience and persistence and understanding that sometimes that means you might be in the field from 3.30 in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. You have to understand it doesn't always happen when you want it to happen. When you're photographing wildlife, most of the time, it happens when they want it to happen. It takes luck because just because you've scouted a place time and time again, it doesn't always mean that's where the animals are actually going to be. I've went out many times and scouted deer and know this is where they come to graze. And when I come out to shoot on a perfect morning, they're not there. They've moved to a different place. I've had other times where I've been driving along and There was my shot right on the side of the road. I've always got my camera with me. Jump out and get the shot. And remember when you're shooting wildlife, get the shot before you move in to set up for a better shot. My worst experiences are when I get to a spot, I have my camera out, and I try and get to the perfect position before I start shooting, then I don't get anything. I can't tell you how many times I've learned from that mistake because the animal sees me, hears me, and runs off. I say it's not about the equipment because you shoot with what you have. I started out with a little point-and-shoot camera, didn't think much of it, and I've slowly worked my way up to a DSLR that somebody handed handed down to me, but I use it. I make the most of it. Learn to understand your equipment and use your equipment to the best of your ability. If you use your equipment effectively, you can slowly work up to what you have. So remember, be patient, be persistent, but know it takes a little bit of luck. The long hours in the field, the going back to a place over and over and over again will pay off. And always remember, have fun with it. That's why you wanted to be a photographer in the first place.